Hi everyone, welcome to Kentucky State Parks Recreation Station Special 12 Days of Christmas Edition. My name is Claire and I'm the park interpreter here at Big Bone Lake State Historic Site. For today's edition, we're going to be talking about the bison and how they've adapted to not only withstand extreme heat, but extreme cold in snow like today. Let's head back to the herd and see what's going on. Here at Big Bone, we consider our bison herd our living link to our Ice Age ancestors. During the Pleistocene, there were bison roaming here at Big Bone. So today we have our modern herd. And one of our biggest questions is why do we leave them out in the cold during the winter? Well, bison are actually extremely well adapted to these cold temperatures. The first thing is their fur. Bison have a dual layer coat with a really woolly undercoat that keeps their body heat really close to them. And then they have coarse guard hairs on the outside that help block things like snow and wind. Bison will actually just hunker down during a storm and face it head on because their fur keeps them so well insulated. Another thing about bison's fur that helps keep them so warm is the amount of hairs they have per square inch. Bison actually have seven times more hairs per square inch than cattle, making them more than adapted to handle below zero temperatures. Another way bison stay warm in the winter is that their skin actually thickens and they add fatty deposits to help keep heat in. Bison are so well insulated that when snow lands on them during the winter months, it won't melt. Between their fur, their fatty deposits, and their skin, their body heat is kept so closely to them that it won't melt the snow on top of them. As you can see here, some snow has landed on Henry's head, but it isn't melting. That's not because the snow just fell, that's because Henry's fur and skin keeps him so well insulated that it won't melt. Another thing that helps bison survive during the winter months is their gigantic head. You can see here bison have a hump on their shoulders and that's created by extensions on their vertebrae. Those extensions allow for additional muscle attachment to support their giant head. During winter times, when snow can get up to four feet deep, they use their large head and horns to push snow away to find the grass underneath so that they can still eat during the winter months. Another way bison survive during the winter months is they actually slow down their metabolism. They do this by spending less time looking for food and less time actually eating food. That way they conserve their energy. As our bison herd doesn't roam as much as they would in the wild, we have to supply supplemental feed for them during the winter. They get a grain feed every couple of days and they also get this round bale hay for when they need it. With all of these physical adaptations to survive the cold, bison have carried on well since the Pleistocene or the last major ice age that we focus on here at Big Bone. Our living links connect us to our ice age past and those cold temperatures. From Kentucky State Parks, 12 Days of Christmas Edition, I'm Claire, and thanks for visiting Big Bone Lick State Historic Site.